Bulldog Morning News Show. I am Kate, an 8th grader here at McCracken, to let you know all the latest updates going on here at the school. But first, here's my co-host to lead us in the morning pledge and moment of silence. Good morning, Bulldog Nation. I am Star, an 8th grader here at McCracken. Let's get today started. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance with me and pause for the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. In the Media Center, we are greatly enjoying the Secret Garden Dioramas from Miss Patterson's class. Her kids worked hard after reading the book, The Secret Garden, and they have created their own Secret Garden Dioramas, where you see they've got themselves pictured inside their Secret Garden. So check these out in the Media Center. They're over in the Realistic Fiction section. Today we got another Secret Garden Diorama. This one is from Miss Laura's class. So it is also available for you to come look at on display here in the Media Center. H.G. E. McCracken Middle School softball and baseball games Thursday, March 21st. Softball games begins at 6 p.m. followed by baseball game. It's at River Ridge Field facing Loyal Branch Middle School home game. Easter weekend days off. There will be no school Thursday, March 28th or Friday, March 29th. Remember that if you have a cracked screen or any damages on your laptop, please get that turned in for repair as soon as the problem or damage happens. Keep laptops off the floor and also make sure you are carrying your laptop in the provided bag you were given to help protect it. To turn in your device, you must bring all of these items, your laptop, your charger, and a bag. Teachers, please do a sweep through your first period class and check tablets for broken screens and also keyboards for missing keys or anything wrong damage repairs. If students have any of those issues, they need to bring their laptop, charger, and bag to school and get it turned in for repair before spring break. Don't forget that Miss Sunday has another great reading competition here in their R County where students will compete against other schools. Here are the six books that the challenge questions will come from as we face Bluffton Middle in the first round on April 4th. Miss Sunday will host a meeting on Monday and Tuesday mornings for all students participating. Quarter 3 PBIS Day is Wednesday, March 27th. You must have also a 60% in all core classes to participate. You must be in good behavior standing. Make sure you're finding out if you met your math goals in ELA and math for the spring math testing. Our dress down day is coming on Wednesday, March 27th. Good morning, Bulldogs. This is Mrs. Head here to tell you all about the NJHS spring fundraiser. NJHS members will be selling Be Kind candy grams every morning just for $1 per bag. So you can get yourself a sweet treat to help spread kindness this spring. It's perfect for your friends, any staff member, or even yourself. Put a smile on someone's face today. We will be selling these until we run out, so get them while they're hot. Friday, March 22nd. Make sure all your assignments are caught up and any overdue books are turned in. If they are lost, these need to be paid to clear your account. Don't want attention? Pay attention. First things first, hoodies come off. Here's a great question that you guys ask all the time. Why do you have to show your work in math class? And your teachers ask you how many times? 10 times, 50 times, a million, maybe more. So why do they ask for it all the time? Why do you have to show your work if you get it? Didn't you just do it in your head? What if you just know the answer? Why is it important to show your work? Well, teachers ask you to show your work 
when doing your math so that they can, one, understand what you've been thinking to solve the problem, to the steps that you took to solve, because you might have done it differently than they did or another student did. And you know, they really can help you identify if you've made any misconceptions and or simply to check to make sure they understand what they taught you and even that you can apply it to something else. So what can you do? It's very simple. Today, in math class, get out a piece of paper. Write down your work. As you're going through, don't wait till the end. As you're going through, write down the steps that you take. Even if you get it easy, it doesn't matter. It's okay. Write it down. Your teacher will be very thankful and you might actually get something from it. Thanks and have a great day. Have a good day, Bulldogs. We'll catch you back here tomorrow.